Delhi was witness to scenes of confusion as citizens rushed out of their homes in panic late in the evening of March 21, when tremors from a 6.8 magnitude earthquake in Afghanistan shook the Indian capital. Amid the chaos, one thing became painfully clear. No one had a clue about what the proper procedure for evacuation was or where one could seek shelter. Across several of the capital's neighborhoods, streets became more crowded as people rushed out of their homes, causing traffic congestion. Delhi isn't the only mega city in India to face such situations. In the past five months, North India has been shaken by multiple tremors, causing panic among residents and raising concerns about the region's seismic activity. Overall, India has been jolted by at least 10 earthquakes measuring more than 4 in magnitude since the beginning of 2023. Besides the tremors from transborder quakes, we were shaken by several earthquakes with epicenters in India. Mangan in Sikkim recorded the earliest such instance on February 12. This was followed by tremors in Silet, Bangladesh, Jumla in Nepal, Arunachal Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and Gilgit Baltistan in Pakistan, among other areas. Meanwhile, northeastern India experienced at least 30 minor and light tremors between January 1 and March 14, 2023. On January 1, a 3.2 earthquake hit the hill district of Assam's west Korbi Anglong. Experts warn that such frequent tremors and earthquakes are a wake-up call, particularly for states in the Himalayan region. The region falls under zones 4 and 5 and is seismically the most active. They call for preventive measures to minimize damages before a major earthquake strikes. One way is to quicken the adoption of preventive technologies. However, we are yet to have the know-how to predict earthquakes in short term. What we have now is a hazard maps. You know, like uh, we have, uh, uh, we can actually calculate the probability of an earthquake within the time frame of several years. There are also, you know, modern scientific methods, machine learning methods, which they try to now you look at the earthquake data and come up with certain patterns. And also we have been able to use uh, the remote sensing satellites to see if there is any uh, trends in land deformation before a big earthquake, like in 19, uh, 2004 Andaman earthquake. And if you look at the examples in in, in Japan, and uh, you, you, you might want to learn some, some lessons from them and how they are using technology, the upcoming technology to strengthen the buildings. You know, for example, the base isolation structures, which are they are implementing very successfully there. So, what are the challenges in implementing regulations to mitigate the impact of a major earthquake in India? Does India lack the required regulations or is non-compliance the bigger problem? No, there is no dearth of regulations when it comes to seismic safety in buildings. Uh, the problem that is uh, there is of non-compliance, of course. See, we have to understand that our cities are largely self-constructed. So let's take the example of Delhi. Nearly 80% of buildings will not be able to withstand uh, an earthquake. I mean, because these buildings are largely self-constructed by the informal sector, by the people themselves, so, I mean, even if they get the plan approved by the uh, corporation, there can be no guarantee to its seismic safety. Another problem is the buildings, high-rise buildings, are operated and maintained by RWAs. And you tell me how many RWAs know about this, that they have to conduct such structural safety tests. So this process is there, and, uh, you know, we also have all the codes with us. But the problem is that uh, people have to be made more aware Experts point to countries like Japan and the United States, mainly California, as examples of geographic regions that have gradually corrected faults in their urban planning and architectural design to counter the high seismic activities. It is now to be seen how promptly the Indian government responds to these earthquakes. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.